It may not look like much, but in this tutorial we're going to set up our camera, change the background of our scene, add a sprite by working with a texture bitmap atlas and an eye texture region, and fix any problems that we have with our emulator. Let's get to it. What's going on guys? In the last tutorial we learned a little bit about setting up a project and what these four methods mean. In this tutorial we're actually going to utilize them and make everything happen. First thing that we need to do is set up our camera again within our engine options here. So let's go ahead and create a new camera uh, within this method and it's just going to be a camera object and might call this M camera, something like that. And it's going to be a new camera object and we're going to give it the parameters of pretty much the top left corner of our scene which will be position 00. zero. Um, this again is the top left corner of the user's phone as well and then the bottom right corner which will be our camera width and our camera height that we set up previously uh, so we just go ahead and put those in for your scene setup or your camera setup and we can mess around with the camera width and height and you can kinda see what the camera actually does itself uh, now we also have to give it menu options this will be like hey do we want this application to be full screen do we want it to be a portrait view or a landscape view and we do that by creating uh, engine options obviously that's what this method is looking for uh, as it's not void down here it's actually looking for engine options so let's create an engine options variable we'll just give it uh, the name of options something like that and it's going to be new engine options as well and you can see four parameters again like I said there's a full screen what kind of portrait or what kind of orientation we want whether that be landscape or portrait uh, so again the first parameter is going to be true because we want it to be full screen second parameter we want to refer to the screen orientation class that comes with the and engine framework and then we just hit dot and we have landscape or portrait our game is going to be landscape as you can see the width is 800 the height is 480 so the user should be playing the game on their phone that's turned sideways that's landscape view the next parameter I'll talk about here in a second just go ahead and hit new ratio resolution policy and we are also going to give it two parameters the width again this will be our camera width and the height will be our camera height uh, I'll explain that in a second lastly we have to define what camera we want our engine to control so that's going to be M camera that we just set up I'm going to hit control shift F to format everything and we can look at it this way now again the first parameter full screen yeah we want it to be full screen yeah we want it to be a landscape the second parameter this third parameter is kinda of where the magic happens of the framework because there's so many different Android devices this allows us to pretty much work with any Android device and not have our images stretched or our sprites stretched backgrounds any kind of uh, it'll keep the ratio the same on any device that it's running on so that's pretty awesome uh, again we want it to correlate with what we're defining as our width and our height uh, again that's our camera dimensions so that's kinda what that third parameter says uh, the last parameter is our actual camera that we set up here and then we just want to return these options back to the engine so just go ahead and return the options that we just set up here and we are done with this method the next thing I want to show you guys quickly and easily we can change the background of our scene within our on create scene method down here and we've already defined a new scene and now we can relate to that scene uh, pretty simply by just saying set background and we can set this as like a scrolling background or a image as a background but as for now we're just gonna set it to a color um, so I'm gonna say set background new background give it a color maybe like RGB value I'm gonna do like 0 for my red 125 for my green and 58 for my blue again these can be anything 0 to 255 uh, and it should work so now we've set our background color to that bluish tint that I showed you at the beginning of the video and it's as simple as that we've set it set up the background of our scene that's pretty easy uh, the next thing we're gonna do is work with a simple sprite and use these other methods as well the create resources and populate scene so the thing I want you guys to do first is grab a resource or a picture that you're gonna use and make sure you know the dimensions because the dimensions of the picture is pretty important um, if you guys are on our site mybringback.com somewhere in this tutorial you can download the image that I have as player and use that as well um, 
one of the benefits of going to our website instead of just the YouTube channel you can get some additional information about the tutorial or if I miss something I'll type it in there hopefully uh, but anyways download an image or create an image this player image is 64 pixels by 64 pixels like I said you need to remember that it's pretty important um, I created a new folder within my assets called graphics uh, you can do that by right clicking new folder and just give it GFX as the folder name and hit finish I can't do it because I already created that folder and throw your image in there make sure your image is lowercase mine is player dot ping and we're good to go and that's our simple image here uh, just 64 pixels by 64 pixels alright so now that we have an image that we want to work with we're gonna create two different variables within this class one is gonna be a texture region and one's gonna be a texture atlas we're gonna do that by saying bitmap texture uh, atlas and we're gonna say this is our player texture again we won't define anything yet and we also want to have an eye texture resource I'll explain what these are in a second but just get everything set up Again, this is gonna be our pl player texture uh, region again the life cycle of an and engine base class or base game activity goes we load up our resources our camera and kind of the options and then we're gonna call this on create resources what I'm gonna do within here before our callback where we say we're done with the application or this I'm sorry this method I'm gonna create a new method that we're gonna call called uh, load graphics and then I'm just gonna hover over and create that new method and within here we're gonna load all of our graphics right now we only have one graphic when we have multiple graphics it'll be a little bit different than this but I just wanted to show you how we can set this up it's gonna be a bitmap texture atlas texture region factory so you can either try and remember that or just hit control space and go down to bitmap texture atlas texture region factory and this will allow us to kind of uh, set the path um, or basically refer to this graphics folder within our assets as our base for everything within this method load graphics uh, so we do that by saying set asset base path and referring to the folder that we want um, called graphics and there should be a forward slash in there as well and that will set up the basis of all of our graphics the next thing that we want to define is our player uh, texture which again is a bitmap texture atlas generally what an atlas is is think of a map or a sprite sheet if you guys are familiar with that it's gonna have a bunch of different pictures and we can refer to a specific point on that big map or or that huge picture and then we can specify a certain region of the map later um, such as our player region and it will only take the images from that part of the atlas since we only have one image like I said we're only gonna use we won't really need an atlas but it's good practice to get into it um, this this series is comprehensive so when we have more pictures we'll come back and do this again and you'll realize the process a little bit more thoroughly uh, so we're gonna set up our player texture atlas create a new bitmap texture atlas and as you can see there's a few different parameters uh, what texture manager do we want and we're going to refer to this method down here called get texture manager and that's just going to manage all of our textures pretty awesome now these two parameters are extremely important with and engine it's one of kind of the flaws with and engine you have to use two to the power of x for the width and the height so let's say you have an image that's 50 pixels by 50 pixels Oops. this will cause you problems these two variables or these two parameters of a texture atlas have to be 2 to the power of x so for example for the width if we had this image of 50 we want to round up so it's 2 to the power of x so what those are is 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 256 5 12 10 24 so always round up um, since our picture is 64 by 64 we can actually use that because that would be 2 to the 6 power kind of confusing kind of stupid that you have to do 2 to the power of X um, but again the thing that's important is always round up for your texture atlas uh, again if you had like something that was like 500 pixels by 64 pixels you'd want to round 500 up to 512 
And then the 64 could also be 64 because, again, that's 2 to the power of 6. Again, that's one of those things you just have to remember. So you might want to put a comment uh, width and height power of 2. Well, not power of 2, but 2 to the x, uh, whatever. You catch my drift. The next thing that we want to do is set up our player texture region. So just do again, boom. And again, this is a specific region on this atlas or on this map. Set our texture region up. We refer to the bitmap texture atlas texture region factory. And uh, whoops, time. Man, I was not looking at my screen. So again, this is bitmap texture atlas texture region factory. We're going to say dot create from assets. And we're going to refer to our texture atlas as the first parameter. So we're going to say player uh, texture atlas, or I should have labeled that texture atlas, but it's just going to be texture. And then our asset manager, we're going to refer to this, which is our our assets folder plus whatever we managed, saying that we're going in, we're going into the graphics folder. And then we have to refer to the specific image that we want. So our image is player dot ping, um, as you can see over here, and the third and fourth parameter is going to be zero zero and basically what that's doing is it's referring to the point on our, I'll, I'll explain that later it's referring to the top left corner of our texture atlas but again it's kind of confusing as of right now um, because we're only working with it, one image but we're looking on our atlas at position zero zero and it's going to get that region or that texture region from the atlas Okay, so again, kind of confusing stuff, but it will make sense. You just gotta trust me. Control Shift for or Control Shift F to format it. So we have set up our regions. The next thing that we want to do is actually load these onto the scene because we are going to use them within this scene. So we might as well load them here. So we're going to refer to our texture region or texture, and we're just going to say load um, our atlas. So we're we're using it this scene. So we're loading it. If it was a scene that we don't need this, we can unload it as well. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So again, um, within this on create resources, we call the load graphics, which we do all this stuff. And then we say we're done loading our, our resources. Uh, we have set up our scene already and changed the background. The only other thing we have to do is populate the scene or add things to our scene as well. So we're gonna go down here and we're actually gonna create our sprite which is basically just an object or a character or an enemy. Anything that's anything is pretty much a sprite within a game. So let's create a sprite variable. Set this equal to S player for sprite player. And whoops, what am I doing? And then we're gonna say new sprite. And you see all these options, uh, the X, Y value. So we're gonna set this in the center of the screen somewhat um, by referring to the camera width uh, divided by two so that's going to be relatively in the center and also the camera height divided by two um, our texture region is going to be that specific area in our texture atlas um, that we're referring to so this will be our player texture region that we set up and then for this buffer uh, we're going to relate to our engine um, since we extend the base game activity. We have some other options that we have access to, some other variables. One of them is, we're gonna say dot this dot M engine. And this is kind of our engine, so we're gonna refer to that. I know that was a terrible definition, but uh, it's just one of the values that we can refer to that is kind of our engine and we can tell it to do things. So we're referring to our engine and we're gonna say dot get vertex buffer manager or object manager and that's gonna be our fourth parameter. Don't worry too much about what that means right now. Again, I'll explain some of this stuff later. Uh, the next thing that we might wanna do is refer to our S sprite or our S player, and we can just rotate it. So um, set rotation. Uh, this won't be a constant ro rotation. We're just gonna rotate it once. So let's try and rotate it by 45 degrees. It has to be a float value, so just throw an F on there. And we have rotated our sprite. The next thing that we have to do is we have to refer to our scene and add our sprite to the scene. Uh, so again, we're gonna say this scene dot add or attach child, which is an entity. Um, a sprite is an entity. 
Um, so we're going to refer to the player and shabam. We have added our sprite to our scene and then we say hey we've populated the scene we're done with this just go just do whatever. So run this make sure it works and as you can see our sprite is rotated 45 degrees. Um, this is a normal sprite or a normal image and then we rotate it. One other thing is here's the center of the screen and then we draw our sprite here. So technically it's, this sprite isn't in the center. Uh, the top left corner of the sprite is in the center. Um, so that's one other thing we have to take into account. But everything seems to be working. Again if you guys are having troubles running your game on your emulator, check out the post on my bring back. I believe this is the fourth and engine tutorial. Um, so just look at the fourth and engine tutorial on our website, the blog post. Down towards the bottom, I'll, I'll tell you how to fix your emulator or set up a new one um, and make sure it works for you uh, because I'm just running out of time. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.